Look out, Forty's back! Well, you'd certainly hope so after 10 rounds, I'll tell you that much. G'day, I'm Tigers legend Matthew Richardson. Wait, no I'm not. But he wasn't the gig I was at last night. Oh, best should have come on the show. Jeez. Anyway, mm. I'm James Clements. I'm the host here of the AFL Today Show, your new favourite one-stop shop for all things footy and a little bit of fun. That's what we do here. Joining me for this round 10 double digits. Unbelievable. Rap show. That's right. We've got a couple of local dinguses. AFL Nuffs. Should we call them experts? I don't know if we should. I reckon. There's, uh, I don't know, Swans, Lunatic, Alex Donnelly. How good's life, Jim? Hey, how good's that? I hate you. (laughs) uh, We might fight after this. Uh, And there's the Stats Boy, a man who is actually just sadder than most because he's just a sad person. Hello, Stats Boy. I'm a happy person. North is trying to make me a sad person, but uh, they're slowly getting there. I'm still pretty happy. But he has a new haircut. New haircut, so I'm a bit happier. He's a new man. Uh, Look, I'm just saying those rumours of uh, Alistair Clarkson turning into (laughs) Alistair Clarkfold. Prove uh, me wrong, Clarko. Prove been, me wrong. Not happy with it's one of my good ones. Anyway, subscribe to the YouTube channel, of course. Follow AFL Today across all the socials and get around this wherever you get your podcast because 40 years back. Right. Round 10. Quick look. I think the swans are pretty good, gentlemen. I like that in the run sheet. Swans good. <laughs> yeah. Simple, effective, n- no notes. <laughs> uh, yeah. They we're playing a depleted Carlton side. We'll get into that, but they were awesome. Yeah. Like, Before we do the uh, ladder check, this is just a quick look. The biggest sort of stuff. Uh, Isaac Rankin ran a little bit too far. He should have ran and brought it back a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going so, with that, Jim? Yeah. Got a bit, I, I got no a bit lost. Yeah. I had no idea I was going he, with that. So. He did something with it. I, my immediate reaction was when they called it, absolutely ran too far. No, That's because you're was. a coward. No, it was That's too, it was too far. Coward. Not for the theory of the game, but it's in the rules. They never call it is another argument. They never call They've too called far. They've called three since. I know. <laughs> no, but they very rarely call too he, far. But just looking at it, it's like, yeah, he's like, on yeah, pure look, it's like he's run too far. I was like, I oh, might have gone 19 or 20. He went 24. Yeah. I would argue <laughs> this is Jim's theory. <laughs> so are you no, going to do the other like, physics? Oh, Alex, it's the steps. No, it's literally 15 metres. It's yeah, the yeah, rules. Yeah, yeah. It's, meters, it's also yeah. the simple idea of, I don't know, can we get the tape measure out? And it's like, oh, but they did. It's like, look, this is a very <laughs> inac- inexact <laughs> science. Of yeah. But my entire point when it comes to the Isaac Rankine thing is, if you've bounced already, it's basically the entire time you have the footy, <laughs> How many how many times have you bounced? He divided bounced too early. by <laughs> divided. divided by. But he's run the amount of steps you take. But he's he, but he's bounced once and run thirty five meters. He's still gone too far. Ah, yes, he was fine. <laughs> Just classic <laughs> anti, anti South Australian bias oh from the old maybe, maybe Adelaide should have better game management. We'll get a few more Adelaide followers. Other good nice. stuff from the weekend. Harley Reid is Gary Ablett <laughs> mixed with Wayne Carey mixed with Chris Judd. If Lee Matthews was their dad, I did not read that. And, Lance, great. and Lance Franklin was his cousin. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh, he is currently tearing up Melbourne, which is awesome. He's already, already kicked the goal of the week of the year. Yeah. And uh, fended, off, moments, fended off Christian Petrarca, which I don't know. Who called that the other day? Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Me. How did you call that? Because that <laughs> so I'm some sort of brain genius. But he also, he just went, screw you, Jim. I'm also going to fend off Harley Reid at the same time no, yeah, with I'm, my opposite Oliver. hand. I'm Oliver. Clayton Oliver. Yeah. Oliver yeah. left. Petrarca right. But awesome. rotated Douche. the ball. Oh. Uh, other one. Saturday Night Footy was a bit of a fizzer. We talked uh, about this last week. We did cover this. Boring. We asked the question, is Saturday Night Footy dead? No. No, no. They also just need to figure out, mm, maybe we shouldn't uh, have St Kilda play Frio. Who's next week? Uh, oh, you got Dream Time. Dream Time's always cool, just because of exactly. the atmosphere. That'd be cracked. It's, so and it's on its own. But cool. the problem is you have two games starting at Saturday at 1.45. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's just us. Is it? <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> anyway, the other good thing is, should Gold Coast play more than two games a year in Darwin? Because I believe... Gee, Every game there, Jim. I don't know. I'd just move there if yeah. I were them. Darwin Suns. The Gold Coast Darwins. The, Gold, the Darwins. <laughs> Named after their favourite person, Charles. Just call them, you know, <laughs> the Darwin Salties, and away we go. Yeah. Right. Ladder check. Flying through it. The Sydney yep. Swans are nine and one at the top of the ladder. Two games clear. Well, one and a half games yep. clear because Essendon stink. But the percentage as well, 154.7. That not is bad. Huge. They got a bit of a bit of a boost and Carlton's copped it. Yeah. Carlton's stiff to be. Did not enjoy the live like percentage rankings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, a horrible broadcast, which I'll we'll get to in a second. That's right. The best team in the AFL, Essendon. You can listen to oh, anybody God. that's not from Sydney. Oh, my God. Uh, seven, two, and one in second. Yeah. That's two points clear. G Schlong, who was seven and three, <laughs> and the Port Adelaide Powers, who were also seven and three. 
after pulling one out of their rear against the Hawks. Yeah. Uh, so that's your top four at the moment. Sydney Essendon, and Geelong. That's a wild and top doesn't four. feel right. It's Honestly, what Essendon and Port doing there in that top four? Strange. What are Geelong doing there at the moment? I know, that's crazy. Collingwood stand alone in fifth, six, three, and one. And uh, we have currently a Melbourne team that is in sixth. Uh, if they lose this game to the West Coast Weagles, uh, it could get pretty sketchy because there are, I believe, four teams below them that are also six and four. Yeah. The GWS yes. Giants, the Gold Coast Suns, the Fremantle Dockers, and my beloved horrible Carlton Blues. Your percentage down to 102. This is what happens when you win every game by two points. It's and worse then, than Essendon, and then, get, get, and then get smashed. Yeah. yeah, It's not great. Uh, but Melbourne, if they win this game, they will jump up to third. Yeah. Point being, where are Carlton? Tenth. Still above the Western Bulldogs. Exactly. So you're good. That means you're good. <laughs> it's the Bevo line. It's the Bevo line. One Simple as that. They're five and five. I like they that. are the most 500 team that has ever been 500. Yeah, <laughs> you can't trust them. They had a crazy game on the weekend as well. We'll get to that in a second. But the yeah. Bulldogs on the 11th. Brisbane, four, five, and one in 12th. The Radelaide Crows. The Crom. <laughs> the Crom. The Crom. Three, six, and one yeah. after their. Uh, Brisbane draw last week. Then you got the Saints three and seven, Hawthorne three and seven, and West Coast possibly three and seven in a second. Hopefully, I would argue that Hawthorne are definitely better than St Kilda. And sh- like I know we've got our St Saint- Kilda line Kilda of demarcation, massively, but Hawthorne yeah. does. Like, well, if they won that game this afternoon, they would be above them. Yeah. I don't think flip side. I don't yeah. think Adelaide are as bad as three six and one. No, no. they've had a l- couple of close ones. See, this is why this is they tricky. Should be what? Are they five, better than the Bulldogs? They should be, I think Adelaide's better. They than should the Bulldogs. be probably five three and one. Does that make sense? No, no, hey, also Richmond's one and nine. That That's one win came against five, four and one. Sydney. What the hell is Sydney. this year? But, yeah. So Collingwood twenty twenty two lost to West Coast sure. as well yep. last year. GWS lost to West Coast. At the start yeah. of the year, there's a weird result. You're like. That how, did, how did that happen? Yeah. There is one team that has not won a game this season. Who's that, Stats Boy? I don't know. I, I haven't been keeping up with the footy much lately. Rubo! Oh, Fuck, I'm Perfect 10! Oh. 0 for 10. Oh, and 10. Worst start almost ever, I think. All right. Now have a look at that. Yeah. Let's fire it up, though. Ring, ding, 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 ding. Vincent. What's on the bingo card this week? <laughs> oh, my uh, God. This is a long Vincent. We've circled back to commentators. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. We're back. Uh, I had a, I don't know, Message chain with about four different groups of people yep. on Friday night. Going, One of them was what, us. Yep. What is this about. horrible, horrible call during Sydney Carlton? All I ask, this is meant to be your flagship enterprise, the AFL. Yep. Uh, that was an absolute embarrassment, Sydney v Carlton. It shouldn't be that hard to sell the idea that this is the best team in the competition that have been the best team in the competition for the past month at yeah. least. Maybe talk about that, yeah. <laughs> it's not hard to go, hey, they're good. Jeez, they're pretty good. <laughs> oh, jeez, their midfielders are pretty good. It's like, have you watched a single Sydney game this year? Can I Can I just jump in before this also? No, you can't. Oh, I've got a Logan <laughs> McDonald It's also point. like, why should we care? Like, that's what they should be selling, right? It's like, not only is Sydney absolutely the class of your entire league, yep. but why should we care? This is what you are trying to sell. You're selling entertainment. You're selling the uh, factor of the Swans are an absolute dominating Our team. House. Third yeah. biggest home and away crowd ever at the exactly. SCB. Yeah, that was cool, yeah. And what it smacked of was a lack of preparation on the call's behalf, the commentators, mm. and most importantly, a lack of interest yeah. in going beyond anything like, geez, oh, Carl, we're up 26 points in the first quarter. It's like, yeah. That, doesn't that happens anymore. in AFL games. Yeah. It's like, Especially modern games. Yeah. What are we talking about? Thing, Why is this still coming up? One that really annoyed me was when Logan McDonald does his run up, the Swans full forward, does this little dip. Every, every game. Every game. He's yeah. done this every game since he started playing AFL. It's his run up. It works. It's why he kicks really straight. And then Richo goes, oh, don't know about that run up. Seems a little off. Brian's like, yeah, that little gets off balance. It's like, have you watched the kid play? <laughs> don't watch Sydney. Ever? I don't watch Quite Sydney. Quite simply, they've literally never watched the Swans game because no. they didn't want to give the Swans enough credit. They sounded bored by the entire they thing. They were sad. It was weird. It's like, yo, your job is to sell this game. It's literally the, exi- the third the biggest yeah. game yeah. they've had at yeah. the SCG in history. Mm. Amazing gear. Sell it. Like this even is Chad your- Warner, we talked about that. He kicked yeah. a goal and there was like, Chad Warner was- kicked a goal. It was an awesome goal, you idiot. It was idiots. a sick goal. It Get was absolutely chaos. Well, this is the entire thing. The AFL is a national competition. It mm. wants to be the absolute bee's knees in Australia, right? Sydney. I don't know. It's a pretty big city. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you want to kind of get across the idea that if your team's good, that's good. 
And you want to sort of convince them to get on board. Yeah, it's the get place to be board. at the moment. Like, what are we get doing? The Swans had, have had 40,000 at th- plus at three of their home yeah, games awesome, so far yeah. this year. Yeah. One was round zero, start of the season, I get it, against GWS in the pouring rain, and then on Friday night. The Geelong game apparently already sold out in a okay. month's time. Ooh. So at least dig into Carlton's failings even more because it was vastly there to dig into. Like, and why the Swans midfielders were running rampant. Just dig into that a little yeah, bit. Why, not? why is it? Because why not? it's super deep and they're very, very good. But is there also questions as to why, you know, why is Charlie Kerno in the third quarter when, when Carlton is still technically in it? Why is he sitting a kick behind the play? Well, they did actually cover that. Yeah. Uh, Ad nauseum, in fact. It's like, oh, Charlie Curnow's back. But I don't think that's a good idea. It's like, no, no it's, it's not. really not. What are dumb, we doing? Yeah. Anyway, this is meant to be your flagship broadcast to the point where your AFL spokesman came out last week. Like, we don't have enough good games for Thursday, so we're trying to make a big focus on our Fridays. And you're like, that's not great. Yeah. <laughs> if this There's is the best you can games. do. We should get and we should demand better. How, you should be embarrassed. How do we as a game get so many things wrong? Not us personally, but how does the game itself get so many things wrong? We for get nothing wrong. Such a yeah, good we're, product. I agree with that. Yeah. But it's like it's only it's only cold on Thursday nights. So no Thursday it's only night cold games. On the, yeah, yeah. We don't have enough good games. Maybe just sell the pro. Our game There's is awesome. Good games. We're so just gonna games. play games. It's gonna be sick. Like Port Adelaide and Hawthorne on a Thursday night would have been sick. Exactly, just wait yeah. till we get to the Saints free or again. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, oh. seriously, hey. this comments, the commentating I think this weekend has been an absolute embarrassment across a bunch of these games. Yep. And I don't feel like it's too hard. Like, know a couple of commentators, it's a hard graph. Yes. We get it. But at the same time, just a bit of you e- can't have dudes energy. doing back-to-back bro- like primetime games who very clearly don't care about like mm. one of the teams or even both the teams. But this is it's also ridiculous. what happens when you try and plug the Triple M, Triple M commentators in who were great with what they did on Triple M onto a national broadcast yeah, where you're different. following Bruce different. and Sandy stuff, whose gigs were literally TV calling rather than radio calling. Yep, very cool. Sorted out AFL. <laughs> Let's do some gay raps. Hey, remember Thursday? Because I don't. Gold Coast absolutely smashed along 164-100. This game was what insane. Game. This was the highest score that Gold Coast have ever posted, right? Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Absolutely My gnarly. Uh, I'll tell you what. Jack Lukosius. No, no, no. Full name, please. Jack, I should live in Darwin, Lukosius. Jack, I need to play oh, right. every game in yeah. Darwin to win the Brownlow medal, Lukosius. How many goals He'd win the then? Coleman and the Brownlow yeah. each year if he just played in Darwin the yeah, entire season. exactly. He was fantastic. He got them going when Geelong... Took advantage of opportunities that they had. Gold Coast were on top, but Geelong just went, eh, we're going to kick a goal now. Yeah, and Gold, another. They just made it, Gold Coast just made it look like the driest game. As but I Gold mean, Coast made it hard for themselves in the first quarter. They did, uh, but yeah, other than that, Did we do amazing. a greasy counter? Yeah, from our show it's last pretty, time. pretty greasy. <laughs> it was. Uh, they didn't show that it was greasy, but Geelong did. Very greasy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but this insane, like, game, like, you had Noah Anderson running rampant. You had the entire Suns awesome. midfield running mm. rampant. Took Bailey Noah Humphrey and... just went, I am yeah. prime He's Petrarca. like, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. It was his best game ever. Like, everyone's had raps on him, but he was yep. phenomenal. So this is, like, it's one of those things where you go, cool, Go Co- Gold Coast, obviously, in Darwin, Gold Coast at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're not afraid of them basically anywhere else. But those two places, oh, yeah. you should yeah. be afraid because yep. they are pretty good. The thing is, all they need to do is prove it and yeah. do that elsewhere. Come to Melbourne next week and do it. Exactly. Uh, the tricky part for Geelong, do we ask the question, are they frauds? Uh, yeah. I mean, you not, get, if nah, you're getting beaten yeah. 64 points by Geelong, yeah. by, by the Gold Coast, sorry, you are. I, I think you're in the fraud territory. What's that, three losses in a row now? Two or three? I feel like they lost yeah. to Port Adelaide as yeah. well. So I, I'm calling frauds. I think the the big well, I, it's after this week I'm going to say if they're frauds or not is GWS. J, GWS Ooh. have a really good record in Geelong, and I wouldn't be surprised if GWS turn around and beat them. Well, Tom, GWS are frauds. We'll get to yeah, that. But they Tom, are as well. Tom yeah. Stewart, uh, it's been it's figured out. Tom Stewart yeah. since his concussion has turned into a whole. Well, different, it's, it's someone's like stolen his identity, like Space Jam, Jim. No, he's taken his powers. Like the Something's ultimate happened. warrior when he disappeared. They got, yeah. his, they got his surfboard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They touched it and they stole his footy <laughs> powers. I'm telling you, his powers are gone. It's like I was about to say, he didn't have a haircut, so he's not that bad. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Look, maybe one of the other Geelong Carpenters stole his. But, <laughs> but also, so for, for me, a big thing in this was when Gold Coast were just getting going in that second quarter, you're like, come on, Ben King, do something, do something. He, he had did one last touch, yeah, but he had yeah. one touch to half time. Mm. It was like he was in second gear and wasn't trying. It's like yeah, that he was awesome, mate. You, you've got to do the, you've got to try. And then in the second half, he went he was bonkers great. and yeah, kicked yeah. four. Mm. And now he's equal in the Coleman. But it's like bring that consistency, mate. Yeah. Like you can see inside there, there's a player. Now let's go to Max King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, uh, but look, 
I think one of the things we should look at for each of these raps is like, how do you feel as a fan of these teams? If you're a Gold Coast fan, you're like, this is great. I want to see us do it somewhere else. No, the Gold Coast Darwin. is isn't real. Yeah, well, Gold like, Coast, even when they lose, though, are an exciting team. Real is just but a, when they lose, they get beast. pumped. He's with a Geelong. Yeah. If you're a Geelong fan, you're like, oh god, I kind of suspected a bit. Yeah. Of this. but it's also no Cameron, no Hawkins, exactly. no, da- no danger. But it's yeah. also like, here's the cliff. Like yep. it's coming. <laughs> Friday night. I don't think this game happened. Sydney 117, <laughs> Carlton 65. Yeah, Jordan it. absolutely towed Sam Walsh. I called the 61 point uh, Swans win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Heaney three. Was it 61 or 62? 62. I think I said 62. 60, yeah, yeah. And what's the end up? 52? 52, 52, yeah. 52 in the end. I was closest to the closest pin. To the yeah. pin yeah. Just saying. Uh, it is very nice. So if we want to quickly jump to the fan aspect of this. Yeah. Being a Carlton fan, looking at this game, going like knowing that we we're going to lose. Like when they actually got out to an <laughs> absolute flyer, yeah. you're like, well, this is a pleasant surprise, but I can see the other foot coming. But did you like, when you'd kick the first four goals, we also like, the Swans have not had a kick. Yeah. Like, just, like we dominated, it was yeah. fine, but then it was always going to turn because what do I keep saying? The Carlton midfield is defensively oh, inept. They are so and they bad. Stink. They don't lay tackles yeah, they at all. But it's, at it. but it's Patrick Cripps and Sam Walsh not running mm. both ways, and you're like, how is Isaac Keeney on his, yeah. oh, there's Chad, oh, there's Errol. It's you just... Can, yeah, it's why they kept racking it up. But Cripps and Walsh, for all their uh, offensive prowess, just did not work hard enough. No. And and that's what it was. They literally got outworked. It's one of those um, things. though. The, you look at James Robottom made sixteen tackles as well. That, that was awesome. They there, don't yeah. like Carlton. Don't have a dude like that, right? So yeah. you have like the likes of George Hewitt, and Matthew Kennedy. Chera's obviously. Well, I swear, injured. last year the likes of like Chera, Hewitt, so is, and stuff. So Chera, yeah. at least was like can be on the sort of outside, yeah. helping out. But yeah. he's not playing, so and he's not yeah, there, he's not right? That doesn't so, help. It, yeah. And Hewitt and Kennedy, they just have these games where they're just like completely ineffective. But Kennedy tried to run with Heaney early, and Heaney's work rate is what won exactly. that battle. But it's like yeah. Chad Warner, fourteen score involvement, <laughs> Heaney twelve. They've kicked six goals between them. Uh, for me, the, the biggest one was Brody Grundy dominating the ruck. Yeah, and I think we can now go to the point where it's like. Mark Pitney should not be playing for Carlton. The two rucks does not work. He hasn't I'm, been horrible. Too, I love though. it. It's like, I've been saying this literally <laughs> from like that, yeah, yeah. But the second that they went, hey, we'll play them both at the same time. How many games have Carlton The coding is so good. Think, but yeah. also, Brody Grundy at the SCG. Holy crap. He's he just, do, he's he like, this is the Grundy gateway. I love it. Get around uh, me. Carlton, Harry Mackay, can you just, just kick Oh my God. Just kick a couple. Yeah. Yeah. He went back to his old ways. He was, he was really good at the start of the thing. You're like, oh. Harry's fixed his kicking, and then he missed that one from the top but of the goal. But he bombed one from like oh. 60 at the start done, as well. Travis like, Cloak vibes. Yeah. Travis Cloak, he it's misses one from right in front. I think, look, the entire thing we talked about, I sort of skipped over this in the broadcast thing, but they brought this up halfway through. It's like, oh, geez, Carlton have got a couple of injuries, and they showed this roughly list. about a third of the actual yeah. injuries of Carlton. But it's also with, so. how many would be in the best 22? Well, to be honest, there's probably, probably about four? there's probably about six in the best 22 if you got oh, yeah. Which is a big got, chunk. you yeah. got Doc. Chera. I oh, say so I'm not got, counting Doherty because he did it in the first game of the season. Silvani, you've also like basically Silvani, if you yeah. look at the 22, Jack, um, Jack what, Martin's clearly like basically the most important yeah, aspect of their fourth yeah, line. Yeah. But anyway, Carlton stick and this going into this game, I basically suspected it. I tipped mm. Sydney by 62. Uh, yeah, and then once yeah. you watch it actually sort of unfold, you're like, yeah, it's, it's like all their flaws. And Sydney, the perfect team to yep. unravel a team like that. It's very obvious that Carlton have one punch is to go all guns blazing and try and knock the other team out in the first quarter. Yeah, yeah. And if that doesn't work, it's they've bad. got nothing. Like the Swans, once they got the their- problem is like those punches have not worked basically all season. Yeah. Because they have either gotten Need run to be more over, consistent across the whole like game, they did yeah. by Collingwood, mm. or like the Geelong game, which is like, oh, we can't keep up. This but is it's, horrible. So the, there was a few coast to coast goals, which was the glaringly obvious part of like the, the difference in but running Sydney, carry for the Swans. I think that's more because the Sydney are so good at doing but, that. Yeah, but that's, that's also yeah. the Swans running and carrying and running for each other. And I, I suspect we won't see anyone talking about when Sam Wicks finished off a great team goal. All the boys getting around. <laughs> did him. they get around him? They oh, all oh, got right around him. That's because the media told them to. Yeah, exactly. I think. It's like there's you hit on that, right? There's a yeah. speed difference as well, right? Oh, yeah. Slow, well, you got the lizard who he, you can't catch the lizard. What about when the lizard got between, lost in the last quarter yeah. and got tackled? It was just like, lizard, weird. It's very, what are you doing? Either way, Carlton are a mess and Sydney are the best team in the AFL. Chad Chad Warner's just power and speed out of just from one Beast. step. It's Good. We've talked about this game a lot. Collingwood. Go Swans. Karana. 78 74, the Isaac Rankine game, basically. This game was insane. It ruled. That was got, awesome, these yeah. two teams cannot play a normal game. No. They just can't. It's like, it's what's awesome. it, one point? The last it's seven four, points in the last four games. Four games. games. Unbelievable. And I think, is it like five games have all been like a, five of the last six or something are now also like under a goal? Yeah. yeah. That's so, so this is like West Coast and Sydney in the mid 2000s. Yeah. It was like one point, Except one point. Except Collingwood won a flag and Adelaide haven't won in that, uh, in that, in that uh, period. Okay. <laughs> uh, Take us through a bit of this. I like watched a bunch of it, and you're just like, I don't know how. I got a hot take out of it. Oh, I was like all over the Dugowie return. 
smashed it. Happy days. It was great. Yeah. May have delayed concussions though. Like oh, they'll, yeah, they'll, do, they'll have to do the scat test on him today. Like he passed like, like Cameron test. last week. The scat man. I think it's called, but it's <laughs> the like, scat. What are they? Where are they putting it? I don't know. <laughs> in a, in a, <laughs> they just dig in a through his uh, <laughs> digging through his number twos. Yeah, yeah exactly. The scat test. Exactly. <laughs> Unbelievable. But it's so he's like, pu- geez, this says you got a concussion there, Jordan. He's like, nah, that's just a couple of tins. Bro. Yeah, that was when I went to. I was at a Guinness yesterday. Like, come on. But he's passed on field and like Cameron last week. Might fail the one today, tomorrow. Mm, gross. So, uh, Adelaide, do not know how to win a game of football. No. Horrendous game management. They dominated has, the last quarter as well. No, nah, yeah. terrible game management the last five minutes has cost them, cost them the game here. Well, Rochelle might have cost them the game. Just kick a goal. Kick a but, goal it's also, yeah. but it's also when Rankin kicks that goal and there's three minutes to go, Put someone behind the ball. I know. It's one what, person, what, what yeah. do Collingwood do really well, Jim, when they get the footy? Do you want the clamps? <laughs> do, you want to, do you want to see some No, you say when they get the footy. When they get the footy, oh, what do Collingwood do? Yeah. Yeah. What do Collingwood fast, do when they get the, the footy? Fast. They're pretty quick. Yeah. They're pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Do you not think just having someone 50 metres away from every contest, just man man in front, would help? I think yeah. Adelaide, like Adelaide or Kurana, they just blew their chances they time did. and time again. It was horrible. But it's also, they didn't they didn't ice it. They should have put Fogg a kick behind the play instead and just been like, I'm just going to marshal this area. Or even Dawson. And they've let Dugowie get a one-on-one out the back, and it's one calling with the game. All right. The bird ball. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you, you said there was a bird ball. Pies fans, how do you feel after this? You're like, we can still do it. This is great, but we still have some pretty glaring holes in our I team. Think this but is they what also have done. some big injuries too, right? Yeah. My check and stuff is not there. And you're like, yeah. yeah, it's a bit hard. But for the Crows, for the Crom, you've just got to keep sitting there going, the we last two years, what all they do is lose close games. I'd be so frustrated if I was an Adelaide so that's fan. what I just say. Don't know how to win. Like I said at the start, I, I, they have so much potential. It annoys me because I, at their best, even that they lost this game, the more exciting team was Adelaide, I think. Which is Saligo so their best player? He's been the, probably their most consistent, yeah. I'll tell you yeah. what, the the absolute loving that Rankin got for doing what everyone knew eyes at Rankin could do was just like, okay, it's like he's not, it's not like it's his first year. He's in what, he's year four or amazing, five? amazing, yeah. We know he's Who this said good. he was the best going to be the best player? Was David King? King. And everyone and that, had a goal in him. I'm like, that is not a horrible call. Chad Warner, could Chad be the Warner best took it personally. Yeah. The, <laughs> that's yeah. when I took it personally. Uh, the hammy, though, for Rankin. Like, oh. After the run, you're like, oh, geez, it would be a real shame if you'd traded him in on Supercoach. Oh, no. Uh, couldn't yeah. be me. He'll be back. He'll be back. Uh, the point being, I think he should be – like, it's one of those ones you're like, I don't know how tough that looked. We haven't really gotten the wash from that. So They'll wheel him out Hopefully no matter what, I reckon. Then we had – the Greater Western Sydney Giants. What a weird game. Lose oh, this was terrible. a gross slog to the Dogs. Didn't deserve to, to win 70. the Giants. No, they were horrible. The Giants were exceptionally bad. And I feel like as soon as I said they were the best team in the AFL and no one's paying attention, they went, hey, they were paying attention. hold my beer because <laughs> we've just had 87 beers and we're no good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they drinking? They must be drinking before a game. They What are they doing? Injuries are bad. I get this, right? So yeah, they're, they're missing what? Ash. Who else are they missing in the midfield this week? Uh, Jake uh, Kelly. So Kelly's like Josh Kelly. Josh, Kelly, Josh yeah. Kelly, not Jake. And you're like, oh, you've still got Toby Green. You've still, still got, got a very Hardy. good team. You've still got Hogan. You've oh. got Sam Taylor back. You've still got Tom Green in the middle. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. They can't, like, the last three weeks, is it? I think this tsunami, month, last month, this month, tsunami yeah. has, like, failed to fire. There's no tsunami. And <laughs> it's kind of like, it feels like a Bond villain's plot has been foiled. Oh, we're going to create a tsunami and wipe out all the coastal centres of the world. Oh, and then James work. Bond is somewhere just going, <laughs> bang, bang. No, you, sh- <laughs> no, you shan't. Ha, <laughs> ha. And it's like GWS are like pressing the button, pressing the button, and like no tsunami. Just like no. tsunami, fail, tsunami, fail, time and time again. <laughs> Meanwhile, the dogs, I mean, they had a nut. Like Norton was uh, very inept, I want to say. Jamaro yeah. was handy. You had Bond did nothing. You had a, like oh, a weird Bond really, game. Yeah. Trelaw is still just going absolutely nuts. Trelaw's the coolest awesome, part man. is Ed Richards. He's like, oh, you know how I'll just can I be ginger liver? Yeah, <laughs> ginger liver. I like that. You're like, what has happened? He's ginger liver. Yeah, it's insane. I love it. Can we say rules. that Bevo actually has done something good, gentlemen? We're the first time we've ever actually complimented Bevo. He brought him into the midfield what three or four weeks That's ago, and he's been by tearing virtue it up. of needing necessity. to put someone yeah. in there. It's no, not, they've got enough. Bevo didn't do a good thing. He's like. He can play midfield. So I think he did. The dogs kicked eight goals, 22. Yeah. They he should have been smoked smashing. It. They had a lot of rush. <clears throat> what was XG start? on this? I didn't check. Uh, I haven't checked. By anyway, the Giants now six and four. Let's do the fan aspect of this. If you're a Giants fan, you're like, oh, this. Mm, and then you're going to go to Jordan good. Long next week. We're not good. And then the dogs, as I said, they're the most 500 team that ever 500 at five and five. The line of demarcation in the AFL is the dogs. They have these incredible games. They yep. also stink it up. But going to Greater Western Sydney, if you're a Dogs fan, you're like, 
Oh, we won that game. They well. turn up. We know it's five of the last great. six. Who do they won. play after slogging it through Sydney. the wet on Thursday, on Saturday night? It's a tough one. They run into the swans, but. They if are, they can, where are they get close to, one, it's uh, Marvel, I think. Uh, it's a Marvel. If they can get close to Sydney, you're like, are the dogs okay? And no, then, but then, be bad for but week, then yeah. it's just like they lose, and then they win the next week. You're like, ah, they're five hundred. Yeah, it's a Marvel. Saturday yeah. night. <laughs> oh, do we have to talk about Brisbane? Yeah, sixty three, <laughs> Richmond forty four. This was oh. stop it, stop it. They're already dead. This, like, yeah. Basically, by the end of the first quarter. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll have a look. They conceded the first ten goals, didn't they? It was was it? It was not great. Brisbane's midfield just keeps going. Oh. Just get a million touches. What do you reckon? You're like, I'll oh, pay that. Good well, job. Well, and being it, it helps when they're playing witches' hats. Yes. Well, was it seven? It was forty six to five at quarter time. Yeah, oh they keep the God. first ten goals, but like Richmond literally have forty seven thousand injuries. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It is bad. They, they got two more. I think that, that's what I mean. They, they got more out of the game. It's you're just looking at this. It's just like Richmond. Okay, you're genuinely uncompetitive. But the thing is. Some of your older stars aren't really trying or doing anything. They're trying. I've, I no. don't like the word trying in sport. Okay, but they're not, everyone's trying. They're, they're, they're playing it like preseason. They're trying yeah. not to get injured at the moment. Maybe, it's, yeah. Where do they go from here? They probably get pumped by 60 points by us in the next week. Daniel Riola is like, man, I can't wait to get traded this offseason. Yeah, go, that, go, 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 go. Dustin Martin's like, just on the on the old dog and bone to Andrew Dillon. He's like, can can we get the mid-season trade? Yeah. Like, well, du- Dusty's going, i just got to get to 300. I've got just, four more games, just right? Is like, four more games? Yeah, four more games. And Liam, Liam Baker's currently sitting at home watching West Coast Wing going, sick. I'm going to get all yeah, he's that gone there, isn't Yeah, he? yeah. But it's And then you look today, Sam Naismith does his knee in the VFL. Like, they are... It's anyway, sad. They're cooked. Fans, Lions fans, but we have we to do back? that. We have to win by 119 points. That's good. I respected that because you, they, they just sort of proved they've still got the offense. I don't know it was against Richmond. They've still got the offense to be a better team than where are they on the ladder? Eric Hipwood got yeah. a week as well for a sling tackle, which Ooh. fair. Hipwood was like the one dude as well of that uh, forward line where like, it'd be really good to see you have like a massive game. Mm. Yeah. Whereas Chucky went off for five goals. But he, he needed Kyle to Loman do that as got buddy Loman five goals. was unreal. That was so. un- unbelievable. But Cameron needed to have a game where he kicks a few goals. Cam Rayner found some touch. Joey D had one of those games. It's like, it's like okay, Great Joe. Great draft, super coach. But it's also like, okay, Joe, do it when like in a big game when it matters. It's Yeah, that's a lot of their players yeah. this year. But Neil and Zorn. Hipwood was like, a, it's like one of those games like to get us, set us up. Again, the fan thing. We needed to do this. But as a, if you're a Lions fan, you're like, can we just get everybody firing all at once yeah. to springboard into the second it's, half of the season? Can someone please help out Neil and Zorko? Yep. The thing Zorko is, they've, was still, awesome, yeah. they've still got Ashcroft to come back. Like, Tigers, they, they can sneak into the eight 100%. very easily. Yeah, they can. Tigers yeah. fans, you're just like, can we just remember those three flags? <laughs> They're like, how good was Easter when we beat the Swans? Oh, would you take three fl- flags? 100% you would. 100%. Just to, to yeah, pass, of course you would. Pass, well, if, if you take, yeah. if you take three flags yeah. in five years and then have five to ten flag. years of average play, stats guy, you take a win at the moment. Exactly you're a t- right. If you're a exactly Tigers right. fan, do you know how just bereft of any sort of success yeah. they've for One of my Tigers, I had someone that I know was like, oh, the Tigers are so like, shut up, you won three for Exactly. I just want to win. I've been and seen my team win a flag. I've also watched another one on TV. If oh. the Swans never win another one for my life, I'm good exactly. because I've seen two. Yeah, good was 1995. <laughs> uh, the other game on Saturday night, this one was a punish. Yeah. 55 72. We've got Euro York coming up short against Wally Lop. Was, uh, Russ, Lyon, was Russ Lyon coaching both teams? This was the Lion yeah, Bowl, yeah. and as I said, the like team that loses has to have Ross Lyon <laughs> yeah. as their coach. So Saints are stuck with like, ah, God. <laughs> I'm going to talk about Ross again in a second, yeah. but this was. So sick of him. A brutal Luke Jackson. Jackson was incredible. Yep. So was Rowan Marshall. Rowan Marshall was Battle incredible. Of back and can, forth. can they just get the six votes? But just give them three each. Just no one else gets three. Frio <laughs> absolutely smash them in the clearances. Right. I think I saw yeah. this stat floating around. It was like massive. And so yeah, Sarong, so awesome. Just the simple idea, like Frio at Marvel. We've got to give Frio a lot back. of credit for everything no, no, that's no. gone. We don't have to give teams <laughs> credit. We no, just need the, to explain what they did. The, <laughs> this is a commentary bugbear here, Alex. No, this is because no, oh, this, you this guys give West Coast credit for showing up. It's like, yeah, because they're doing their okay. job. No, That's they had the they had their mate die what a day before a game, no, and then they've gone through all the crap that, in the last week. Yeah. Everyone in Melbourne's like, "Oh, Freo got smashed by the Swans." It's like, no, they had a mate die. Yeah. They've played. It's, it's pretty, obviously affected them. They've got pumped. Then they've had to go through everything this week. Potentially a funeral. I don't know if it's happened or not. Then get on a plane, come to Perth, and play against their old coach in one of the worst games we've ever watched. <laughs> and they've still found a they way to won. win. There wasn't won. too many people there either. No. no. They've lifted to win. One. So Frio, good on you for winning. Exactly. Because so, yep. you don't need to say we have to give them credit. You just, just say that they were good. Credit. Yeah, uh, you just enough. give them the credit. You see? Yeah, it was 42-24 clearances. It's one of my hatest, most hated things when it comes to NBA. Oh, you got to give gold 
the Golden State Warriors credits, like, just say what they're doing. Yeah, That's fair the enough. credit, fair idiots. Enough. Jeez. I just thought what they went through hadn't been talked up enough. And yeah. in the Victoria, everyone's I'm glad like, you brought that up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They got smashed. You know, that was poor. It's like, there's reasons. Yeah. Maybe do some digging. Well, the Dockers, look, their forward line, you've got. It's Amos still not clicking. Like, it's, not, it's still a bit wonky here and no, there. But they've, but they've, they get enough done. But, you got but a miss kicked uh, got, two it's, five. It's perfect conditions, and they've kicked a thousand no, no. points again. How it's, many behinds was it? Nine eighteen. Yeah, yeah. That's it was great. tough. Like, anyway, Bailey Banfield missed a couple of sitters. He can play, by the way. Holy crap! Yeah, this right. season he's decided to play. If you're a fan of either of these teams, if you're a Saints fan, you look at this going, oh, again. Remember when we again? beat Collingwood? Uh, well, they had one good year. They're like, oh, we're in the finals. No, hey, they beat Collingwood in round two. I'm going to still talk about this Ross Lyons stuff in a second, but anyway, and if you're a Dockers fan, you're like, sick. Where cool. are they the also, ladder, actually? But yeah. Mateus Philippou as well. Can't get they're near nine, the footy. Nine. Nine. They're six and four. He can't get near the footy. Like, what are we doing here? He's just, he he's really just, good he's year, just yeah. flatlined. Yeah. Sunday, yeah. Essendon smashed the Ruse oh, 106-66. It was on the score, but it's pretty actually, funny. It pretty close most of the game. Uh, was this an honourable loss? Yeah, nah. Oh, I'm going to say yes. Nah. I don't okay. think it nah. was quite enough. There was still two. Your, like, your first half was very good. We had a first gamer on Peter Wright, which... Which is because we have no defenders. But An honourable yeah. loss is under four goals. Yeah, you yeah. you letting. But we had signs. Letting us no, letting us and kick eight goals in the third quarter. No, they're second on the ladder. I, like we're never we're never going to get close to them. Stats boy, you're playing the best team in the AFL. Is the, uh, yeah, <laughs> Stop, we're the, pre- the Premiership the favourites who are going to go premiership through unbeaten favorites, and win not. the Brownlow and Coleman medals. No, I. I yeah, Clarko, I'm going to say this in another thing, but some of the tactics that he's doing, this is the, sort of the first time I've gone, yeah. I we, actually thought your tactics massive. were all right. It's you guys, it going, tactics aren't. you guys going into the forward line, which is like, ah, yeah, ah yeah, oh, yeah. what do we do? Ah! That's because we can't pass. And, it, and yeah. you just, it's just, just lower the eyes, boys. Yeah. Just lower the eyes. It, no, I just don't like when we've got this big press going on where you can do in a great team that are really good at running both ways, but we do these bad turnovers in the middle of the ground and then our defense is too high up and then they're like, oh, the, all their forwards are just all wide open. So that just annoys any having a forward line against you wide open is just so frustrating to watch. I think you look at the a game like this for the Ruse and you can see the flashes. Yeah. The and, young guys are not and the problem. So yeah. often yeah. North have not given us those flashes. Yeah. And when you do see you're like, I get it. There was a couple of more, more things about like, He yeah. is he literally just puts his body in the line all the How time. How to use so a live again, which is kind of handy. Caesar was great. Sleevo was there. He, was, he actually was trying. He, he had a crack. He was all right today. Yeah. <laughs> it's so bad. No he was trying. Zerhard doesn't was know how to play footy. Anyway. Was this the ugliest man-on-man matchup ever? Sleevo versus Nick Hind. Nick Hind is beautiful. <laughs> What are you talking Wait, about? Wait, saying appearance or he's... Appearance, <laughs> oh, yeah. Geez. Nick Hind, come on the show and fight Alex. Like, <laughs> but, we, yeah. we love Nick Hind here. Because <laughs> he plays for my Pause beloved... For my beloved Essendon Bombers. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's great. No, look, you can't bag Nick Hind. Not for these his mug or anything. Uh, but if you're Bombers a fan of the Bombers, yeah, fan of the Bombers, how you'd look at this and we're go, We're going to win the flag! We're but, unbeatable! Well, I got you a lot of the Bombers best. mates and they were like very worried in the first half because oh, yeah. they, we beat them in the second quarter. So but they shouldn't have been because yeah. they had the best team in the AFL. <laughs> and but they, their forward line was clicking. Obviously, North have a really bad defense, but they actually looked I, okay. For me, this was Essendon in the first half. It really felt like a flat game. They were getting smashed mm. in the clearances, that, but they still had the flash. It was like, okay, we, we are just better than North Melbourne. Yep. But if they ended up winning by three or four goals, like, all right, you've played flat, you've won. This is a game you would have lost last year. Well done for winning and being premiership favourites, according yep. to everyone. Mary hitting the scoreboard again. He's just playing. I reckon he's playing the perfect. Two minutes Peter actually popping season. off his goal. Yeah. He, was great. he was on a first game, but anyway. Not having to rely Stop on giving him excuses, stats guy. He was, he was great, though. He was Ruse great. fans, you How look you at feel? this and go, oh. I've, I've never experienced 0-10, so that's just, uh, that's just sad. But... I, like you said, Jim, the signs are there. There's, I feel like you've experienced that on 10 before. Yeah. It's like, nah. probably your Tinder hit rate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did not uh, expect police, that. Police, I'd like to report a murder. Whoa, 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 whoa. A, what about his report card? <laughs> yeah, report, I'll say that. Nah, um, like you said, there is some signs. Like, it's all the young guys. It's not their fault in this North team. You got guys like Simkin, or well, Simkin didn't play, but just in general, McDonald, uh, a few of the other guys that just can't play footy anymore. Whereas all these young guys, know how to get the ball. They're putting their body on the line, like Wardlaw, like Sheasel. Whereas Steve-O, for example, doesn't always put his body on the line. He got, actually got, was. He got was. Fisher, who's never put his body on the line. Anyway. so That's a lot of, for an 0-10 team. Yeah, <laughs> not good. It's the best team in the AFL. <laughs> uh, Yada Pulte, 80. Hawthorne, 79. Holy crap. This game is pretty nuts. How the hell did Port win this? <laughs> well, they kicked two goals in the last 33 seconds, that's boy. Yeah. That's how oh, they won. Oh, if I'm a Hawthorne so, fan. So at the end of the game, they had more points than the other team. That's how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Literally one point. They, were, they, they did actually roll out the, oh, that's an important point. And yeah. one, there was like a single a single behind in the fourth quarter. Like, that's an important point. I'm like, 
It is. Yeah. <laughs> and then it turns out it was. So That's I thought amazing. I was watching the last five minutes with – uh, my lovely partner Steph, she's like, nah, no way. When that was 30 seconds ago, I was like, 33 seconds is a long time. No, in but footy. like, no way you believe they're going to kick two. I thought, no, There's, but when, there was, no, when, when, when like, really Rioli kicked the goal and they got, and there was 33 yeah. seconds left, I was like, they can absolutely win. She's like, nah, no chance. It's done. And then she's like, oh my God, that was the coolest thing ever. Darcy Byrne Jones, does he get his back into uh, the All Australian? Remember when he got picked in All Australian a few years no, ago? No, he, he actually, actually gets, selection he actually gets picked for the. Uh, Soccerers Asian Cup How campaign that finish? as a striker. Yeah. Not bad. Sam Kirstall. Uh Zach Butters just won the Brown though over Heaney in that game. His last, Wait, he won the Brown. His last quarter was the best quarter of footy for was amazing. I'm gonna point I'm gonna point this out in just a second. Jim's gonna change his Brownlow pick every week. No, nah, He-Man, He-Man <laughs> put his actually a yeah. pretty good statement game there as well. He, he got two, unfortunately. Warner yeah, just had Chundley, to go psycho. That's it. still good. This game was absolutely insane. Like It was actually fascinating to have Like after the game. You had did. two Hawthorne uh, alumni on the panel just going, well, that sucked. <laughs> yeah, but you also, one of them was an ex-Port guy as well. As and, uh, so it was, like, it was weird to sort of see that sort of combo of like, the clear, oh God, it, it, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And like the extreme defensive measures that Hawthorne went talking into about that. way too early. Port Eight kick, minutes left, they Port, went defensive. Hawthorne yeah. kicked six goals, uh, sorry, Hawthorne kicked six goals to one in the first quarter. They were amazing, yeah. They jumped them, and in the last quarter, they've kicked a point to what was it, four goals, six. It's horrible. But yeah, they went way too but defensive. But no, but it's yeah. also th- not that they went way too defensive. I, I it was, again, a team not showing not knowing how to win a game like this. Like Collingwood would have locked that game up in one by I think goal. they were poorly coached. They literally were, they put – so Blake Hardwick kicked five goals, career high. They put him in the back line. He actually is a very but, good but defender. it wasn't that Don't stats guy. It was like, any time they got the ball, they were trying to flick it around yeah, 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 and yeah. get going, or it wasn't the couple of kicks around, yeah. waste 10, 15 seconds yeah. every time. But when they you're kept winning, trying yeah. to move it. Yeah. I feel like North do that as well when we were up against Frio. You don't need to. Yeah, if you're, you're winning, don't change. But too it's the much, third like, quarter. It's not as if it's five minutes yeah, to go in yeah. a game. You got to kill the clock, and that's what St Kilda didn't. Uh, not sorry, Hawthorne didn't yeah, do. Yeah, trying to be too. They fancy. gave Port Adelaide an opening, and Zach Butters went, "Thank you." Yep. Yada Pulsey. Yada Pulsey. Uh, the power that was a really important win. Oh, yes. the fraud watch was on big time. They're still here. close to fraud watch. Like they literally had fraud <laughs> painted across the back of those prison bars. Yeah, and now they, they're fourth. <laughs> now they're fourth <laughs> on the hell? ladder. So the switcheroo <laughs> from them pulling that out of their proverbial <laughs> is remarkable because they lose that game. They're six and four along with every other team in the AFL seemingly because literally with Melbourne losing, there are now one million te- teams. I think it's like four. five five four. teams on six and four. Uh, five, yeah. sorry, yes. Yeah. So th- they would have joined yeah. that into the morass. They now sit at least a game ahead of the morass. Mm. And you want to be on top of the morass. You never want to be in the morass. Say morass one more time, Jim. Morass. Morass. Anyway. morass. Ron Morass. <laughs> Ron Morassi. That was an incredible one. If you're a power fan, you're like, thank God we won that. I can't believe we I won that. I think there was a lot of a lot of Ridiculous. thought of that, yeah. Oh, I wrote down a little stat for you. Boke this year, so inaccurate, Zero nine 9 now. He can't kick a goal, Travis Bogan. He's playing, playing a lot of forward. So kick a goal, Bucky. What do you think? Hardwick had a career high goals, though. Yeah. He yeah, was five. Awesome. It was great. That's why I wanted him to keep him forward. Anyway. Hawks fans. The ball didn't get it there in the last quarter. Hawks fans, you'd be ropeable. But, but, at, no, the but also, time, at the same time, Hawks fans are like, hell yeah, draft picks. No. They're also, you want to win. They're, they're literally, this is they've what we won s- games this year, though. Exactly. They've, they've won three already. Yeah. Three more than your team. And I probably know will all <laughs> season. And it's also, they can finish second last with probably five wins this year. And everyone go, we did well. But this the point being, I think, if you're the Hawks fan, you're like, this is all I want to see. Mm. I want to see honourable losses. But it's also, you f- you're fuming yeah. because you've lost like that. You're going to be so angry you lost that stupid game. Yeah. By the same that's token, a stupid loss, though, yeah. you are also you getting that. like those moments of like, that's what we expected yeah. last yep. year where we played hard. We just had millions of honourable losses. Just show us something. Mm-hmm. And then finally. Oh, oh, it nah, just finished. What the hell? The Demons, what are you doing? 105 to the Eagles. Well, Jit Marara, 105 Chaos. to 70. Absolute scenes out there in the West because... Whoa, Holly Reed, Babylon. Whoa, Holly Reed, Babylon. North didn't need him. Babylon. <laughs> he just put Petrarca in the ground. Yeah, and Oliver. Unbelievable. Bloody hell. Uh, he kicked the goal of the century, of the week of the year of the yeah. century. And also... Barry Petrarca, absolute okay. chaos gear. Geez, you'd hate to have traded him out in Supercoach. <laughs> I can't believe he got out. What was – oh, we'll talk – you can talk about uh, that. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. Tim Kelly, 30 touches. Liam Duggan, 29. They were fantastic. The J train. J train, five miles again. Yeah, Harley Reid everywhere. This Love is just – the J train. Demons – like, again, let's go to the fan perspective on this. Demons fans, you have got to be 
absolutely ropeable. They've had a great this month, yeah. Wildly inept team sometimes. No, they've got to be right. like, oh, we could miss finals. They're like, no, yes, basically no Melbourne chance. are like Carlton. So that's why they still can't kick a score. They've just kicked seventy points against one of the worst I'm happy teams to do in the a competition. Big bet that they will not make. So this is it. They will make finals. Melbourne right, Carlton. Go to your gambling website and do that. <laughs> Melbourne at Carlton with Range Rovers and nice and white. Right, yep. they're just like they're basically the same sort of team. I'd rather but go have like street though. Two yeah. forwards, Beautiful. they've got a defense. Well, they, they don't because Jake Levers can cuss. Exactly. Ooh, that's that's that help, they've yeah. still got no forward line. If you shut down one of Oliver and Petrarchy, you're probably going to win the game. Yep. That's what they've done. There are a lot of things missing in this Melbourne Demons lineup, which has been proven throughout the year. Yep. As I said before the season, there are a chance of missing the finals if things don't go right. Losing to West Coast, things are not going right. So they're. With this, they're now in six, so they still have a pretty hefty percentage because of... Uh, Did they smash? Uh, I can't remember now. They did have a big, big win over the Hawks earlier yes, in the season. Yes, that's right, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. They also got by the, the Bulldogs line, pretty line. handily and stuff like that. So yep. it's a it's a tricky one if you're a Demons fan. You're like, they're down to just... seventh now because of the percentage drop. Ooh, oh, their percentage yeah. is 113. So it's a bit of a tough one. But anyway... Eagles fans. Wow. You'd what? be like, this is this is it. Yeah. You're not losing at home ever again. If yeah. we could be awesome at home, that's all that matters, right? But they're still they are still far away from being where they need to be because there's old dudes that they need to get rid of. They need to get, uh, as Jim says, the creamy middle of players because it. they don't have those players they, that are between than, 24 yeah. to 28. It's all the they veterans to, or kids, yeah. right? And, and that's, all that's, that's why they need players like One um, thing is though, they're Baker to come in. Like in comparing it to North, for example, players will, I reckon obviously Baker, they might get a few players because people can see the direction of West Coast. Players will want to go there club. as well. They're, yeah. a, they're a big club. Yeah. They get big crowds. Yeah. They have a crap ton of money. They had Pav on their side today, which is really? weird. It was weird. That feels weird. Yeah, he's, he's like enemy. dunking on <laughs> Melbourne. Yeah. And it's like, like every Eagles fan is like, this is strange. Well, isn't he like, like a reporter? Yes, yeah, reporter now. So he's going to be on both sides. Yeah, he's, yeah. Ob- he's definitely objective. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whereas like, just in general, what was it? West Coast scored 70 points from turnovers? Yeah, to 14. 70? Yeah. That's gross. That's weird for Melbourne. Yeah, what the hell? Melbourne, you stink. All but right. it's like you have a look through like all these Melbourne players getting less than 10 touches. Like Tadro Adnan had 10, Chandler 9, Stephen May only 8, Bailey Fritch 8, Ugh. Ben Brown 3, Petty 5, Jake Lever doesn't count, he got concussed. But like Fritch still kicked three goals, but it's like, you know. You needed more from your forwards. You need more. Yeah, yeah 100%. It's, talk about a bounce back though. Like after West Coast came over here and got smashed by Collingwood at Marvel. Well, that's, I, that was my big concern. I thought, I thought they were going to get smashed because I thought, here's the cliff with a bunch, no yo. T- no yo. As Jim always <laughs> likes to say. <laughs> uh, but they, like their season is absolutely chaotic, right? Jamie so. Cripps was fantastic making up for his balls up against uh, Essendon that night even though he kicked 1-3, but he was still everywhere. Mm. That's easily their best win of the season. They've beaten Richmond. They'd beaten the Dockers yeah. in the Derby. I think the Derby. Yeah. No, nah, Melbourne is. It's easily the best one. That's awesome. So good job. Great job, Eagles. I'm very proud of you. Also, Harley good. Reid is unreal. He, that was so exciting. Yeah. Two big results. I got six. Stats boy. I think I got seven. Yes, like I think seven. I counted the Melbourne one early. So I yeah, definitely. no, I got, I got seven. I missed on uh, West Coast and the Western Bulldogs. I was so close to nailing that Adelaide pick. Yes. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Almost. Full credit to the boys. Who was the best team in the round? Well, that would clearly be the Essendon Bombers. Oh, you're talking the about the team. Team, Best team in the AFL, and they will not lose again this season. Are you and Dwayne Russell comparing notes? Let's look at their schedule. Richmond this week. They will win that Richmond game. They then play Gold Coast on the Gold Coast. They will win that because they are too good. They will then beat Carlton. They, they will then beat West Coast. They will then beat Geelong at the MCG. Yep. They will then beat Collingwood in a rematch of that drawn game for Anzac Day. They will beat Melbourne. They will then beat Adelaide. They will then beat St Kilda. Are they, they playing Adelaide Frio. and Melbourne? They are playing Adelaide and Melbourne. Okay. 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 Coffee tonight. I don't know. They will beat Frio because they are playing over here. They will then once more beat the Gold Coast Suns and then they will beat... <laughs> The ladder leading Sydney to take top spot on the ladder. Oh, Sydney is all funny. And they will make a mockery of the Gabatoire in the final round of this year. Oh my God. Go up there and knock Brisbane out of the finals. Gerald, cut this out because it's going to come true. <laughs> because Essendon are the best team in the AFL. They were the best team this week in beating the Ruse. <laughs> they, you know, they, I just didn't even. They beat us. Oh, no, seriously, the best team was Essendon. But also Sydney, so there we go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's boy. Uh, I'm going Gold Coast. I don't think I can go anywhere else. Sydney beat a beat up. 
uh, Carlton's side. Essendon just beat North, who we haven't won a game. You beat a, they beat a beat up Geelong without their three best players as well. But the, the Darwin and, Suns caught 164 points. It was exactly, so exciting. it was in Darwin. It wasn't real. <laughs> it was amazing. I the was, most real result of the weekend was the Swans winning by 10 goals. Yeah, I just thought it was the most exciting 64 point game, just because there was so much happening. You got 264 points total. I felt like a really old school footy game. It was game, literally so it was like, there was something always happening. Always happening. Yeah. Old mate was like, what was the over under for this? I'm like, probably like 164. Yeah, it was. That's what Actually, Gold Coast kicked. Yeah. Exactly. Like, it was awesome. awesome. Uh, but yeah, Sydney were the best team, Alex. Yeah. Take it away. Well, you've had the, you've had, everyone talks about midfield trios going amazing, but it's like, okay, Chad Warner, Errol Gould, and Isaac Heaney going, hey, we're, we're pretty good too. You know, your Petrarca, your Olivers, and all that, your, your Butters, Rose Horn, Francis, us. We're the benchmark. Come and get us. We're nine and one. Try and beat them. Is he still talking? Jeez. I am. <laughs> It's just brutal. Yeah. It's also, shout Essendon. out to Harry Cunningham's goal. That was sick. Yeah, that was good. We should just spend more time talking about Essendon. <laughs> <laughs> no, please no. Best on ground of the week. Ooh. Easy one, this one. Matt Hill calling the baby race. <laughs> <That's a great laughs> guy. How good was that? I just want to race my baby now. I'm like... Yeah, what? I just want to... Uh, that's going to go well. When can we like, bet on just, this? He just jumps up and he's just Little like... Squid. He's flying around. I was actually spent half of today just making him chase a remote control car. <laughs> That was pretty fun, to be honest. He's like, he's like, ah, oh, totaling after it. I'm like, this is great. Uh, the word greasy was also the yes. best on the ground of the week. We My got a God, lot of greasy. greasy. <laughs> because we had a pretty greasy set of conditions as well today yeah. in Radelaide. Yep. Uh, also, the Guernseys. Awesome. Awesome. They were sick. Some of them were and absolutely The contrast balanced. between the two teams, like both teams just I hated, great. Every and game. the Geelong one, that was yeah. just like a bit of a mishmash. I because like, I think the, I think the problem with the Geelong one is they weren't wearing, they were wearing blue shorts with yeah. it. And it sort of just... The, the Gold color, Coast one the color blocking looked weird. That wasn't amazing either because it was very just down the bottom. But the, the Swans, Swans, the Swans amazing, Carlton so. kit match was, awesome. was phenomenal. Yeah, North, I really like North ones. Actually, one. the West Coast Demons one just then was pretty good too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Guernsey smashed it this yep. week. Uh, and also, if you want to play, Zach Butters because he had seventeen disposals, <laughs> seven contested possessions, five clearances, five inside fifties, and four score involvements Ooh. in the fourth quarter. What? Yeah, he won the game. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, he literally won that, was, that game. He yeah. was absolutely nailed. You might look like Ramsey Bolton. Doesn't matter because oh, you'll skin your life. Oh, now that you've said that, I'm never not going to say that. <laughs> exactly. as soon, as literally as soon as it clicked in my brain, I'm like, Game of Thrones. Oh, no. <laughs> Every time I see oh, him. Oh, no. Sorry, Zach. I have to <laughs> hate you now. He's going to flay your life. <laughs> it's going to take, take one's gross fingernails. Uh, Stats Boy, best on ground of the week. Oh, it's going to be Noah Anderson. He was. Um, you could pick about 10 different uh, Gold Coast players because they're all so exciting. You got... Tuke was really good. Matty Rao. Stupid sexy well. Flanders. Matty Rao had the uh, youngest player to reach 500 tackles. I was going to say that before. I just remembered. But yeah, I'm going to go Noah Anderson. 42 disposals, two goals. Uh, it was at four clearances. What else he had? He was on the ground pretty much the whole game. He was awesome. He repaid my faith. And then as a North fan, just an honorable mention to LDU. He looked back to his best today, uh, including last week as well. So um, it's good to see. I reckon he was playing a bit injured at the start of the year. So now right. he looks back to his best. Let's hear from Alex about someone else to do with Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> what a Chad Warner. He was great. Though. 20, 28 oh, yeah. touches, three goals, well, a crap ton of score involvements, a stack of clearances. He, he was everywhere. He's also really easy to hate. Like Chad when, Warner, he, when, when he's up he and about, you're like, himself, oh, yeah. I hate you so <laughs> much. I boots. love you. <laughs> no, he, he was wearing the green boots that Errol Gordon oh. signed last week. Errol Gordon signed <laughs> the is, peg, and he legit. hasn't missed since. It's like I love you, but I hate you. I love you. I is love this you, like the Tom Pabley thing? Like all Swans fans love him, and everyone else hates him? Yeah. No, 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 no. He's that good. Like Papley just sucks, and we all <laughs> hate him. Everyone sucks, hates yeah. him, right? Chad Warner, Chundley, he's that good. He and he's like, the he's chat. that arrogant. He like, chat. That is awesome. Yeah. Like if Tom Pabley was out there getting 25 touches yeah. as well, you'd be like, oh, I'll pay that. He's got that. Yeah, Chad Warner's got a bit of dick in him. Yeah, he's All got right. the Usain Bolt yeah. vibes. He backs it up. Yeah. Old mate, no mates. Uh, Isaac Rankine. That was the brutalest of all calls. <laughs> uh, I love that Andrew Dillon Gillen obviously he jumped also on did the old. Hammy. Oh, yeah, exactly, right? So he just, he's, as soon as that one's happened, he's like, all right, we need to cover this up. Uh, call as many holding the balls running too fast as you can in the final games. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. It's exactly what they did. Yeah. Uh, tough to get pings. You can easily argue, yes, you read too far. Like, you know, nerds over here will do. Me. But I'm I'm much more of the, <laughs> at that point of the game, just mm. but, no, but, that's, but no, but that's oh, the whole no, thing. No. Rule of law, sir. They sir, didn't deserve it. Sir, no. the rule of law. 
<laughs> the umpires are there to do his job. We yell at the umpires about doing their exactly. job every now week. Want he to do did it. his job. We should be like, thank <laughs> no. God you, you did your Imagine job. That was against Carlton. He ran too far. But also, Carlton. we don't know that Adelaide would have kicked a goal from the ongoing inside 50. The umpire did his yeah. job. Thank God for once. The one time I agree with Alex on this one. I did your job. <laughs> also, Jim, we, we should have sent upstairs. Should have sent upstairs. Goal review. I want to say, I want to clip up all the times Jim has said the umpires do your job. And now he's gone, don't do your job. <laughs> no, no, to be honest, like, it was, I don't really care because it was like... It wasn't your team. Adelaide, yeah. Adelaide, Collingwood, whatever. But Rankin, it did feel particularly brutal. It was just sad, yeah. When you're literally watching it with the naked eye, you're like, oh, it might have been too far. Mm. Oh. And then there's, oh, we need to prove it. It's like, just settle down. Like, well, no, it's the amount of times this happens in like I know, they never games, call it. They never call and it, it never gets called for it to happen at that exact moment. Yeah. That's why his old mate no mate. Yeah. So, so that's boy. Uh, I'm just going the whole GWS offense. What the hell? Where's they the scenario So going? Toby Green kicked a goal really Toby early. Green, and and you're like, here we go. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like their season. Just they can't play well in tricky tricky conditions. They've had a couple <laughs> Try, say that again. Tricky <laughs> tricky word for tricky <laughs> tricky conditions. Jeez, don't get fired, Stats boy. And last three weeks, uh 69, 63, nice. 43 was their scores. Before that, they were scoring 120 a game. The, as soon as you get a little bit of rain, oh, we can't play off. Or it's the it's tagged horrible. Whitfield and a bunch of injuries. It's not even there. not even that. Like Jake Riccardi, 10 to well, zero goals. You had uh feel, like Jake uh Perryman, no goals. Harry uh, Hillman still Thomas, had 30 no goals. touches. Yeah, th- I don't know. Their forwards just looked out of sorts and their whole offense, oh, mate, no, mates. all the rest of the team, like, guys, yeah, kick some bad. goals. You can't kick 43 points in a game. I don't care how Alex, well it was. Campbell Brown on the broadcast of the Hawthorne-Port Adelaide game time. said Hawthorne were home. Oh, he yeah. early crowed his own team. Campbell Brown, you are a known punter. What do you never do in punting, Campbell? Don't say never that. Never go the early crow, you moron. <laughs> You've cost your team the game. It what? is completely your fault. Go punch another mate of yours. I love, I love this. It's like, are you expecting more? No. What? How? What? I mean, minute, what minute of the game? Out of him, is like that? in terms of like, we're not going to accuse him of being any sort of brain genius anytime soon. No. no. He can't so say are that. you are you actually surprised? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm but it is hilariously old mate, no mate. Because like that's your team. You screwed what, it. How yeah. long left did he say that? Not long. Oh, that's absolutely not amazing. There were, I think, it was actually like a. 90 seconds or so left mm. in that game and BT was like losing his like blowing his lid yeah. there's not enough time and guess what there was what, oh, what about we didn't mention BT at one point in the Swans Carlton game officially gave up yeah, on yeah finally comeback. he's like they're not coming he's back he's like yeah they're not coming back from here <laughs> right whereas if it was Collingwood uh, there was enough time why I can't stand really quick one Ross Lyon uh, oh same I think he might have done his dash here because there was a really good point about how it's all well and good to build your team mm based on defense, right? But what were they? Last year, top of the top of the defensive rankings for fewest points conceded. 15 for 15th for points scored. And I believe there's been oh, twice in the last 24 years, so since the turn of the century where a team outside of the top 6 in like scoring of like actually offensive firepower has actually yeah. won the flag. Mm-hmm. Neither of them have been Ross Lyon teams because he's not won a flag. At some point, you've just got to go, hmm. I was thinking that last night. I don't know if night. this is going to work. I was thinking that last night going, nothing's <laughs> changed since he started coaching it's all exactly, these years like, ago. It's literally, oh, we'll do the exact same thing time and time again. And what's that the definition of? Insanity. Insanity, Insanity. that's it's true. Like, it's yep. getting to a point where you're like. That's the same as Clarker. You've got yeah. a lot of talent seemingly on this St Kilda team and yep. it never is meshed, Never maximizing it. And it's never working. Like what is happening? So. What I can't stand, I think, is the lack of adaptability, the yeah. lack of growth in Ross Lyon. Yeah. And it's like somehow it's like because he's such a charming media presence, which to be honest, I've never gotten. It's like it's not hard to be a charming media presence. You have to have half a brain. He's clearly got yeah. half a brain. He's an amazing football analyst and he's really good at playing the media. But wow, his team's yeah. an absolute punish to watch. Anyway. Uh, side note, we didn't mention it before, but Carlton, they're 17th for scores against in the last six games. Yep. They've been Ooh, getting smashed. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They've been horrible defensively. Yeah, yeah. not good. Yeah, so, they're, they're, we're doing goal and down didn't help as well. Yeah, we didn't mention that. That, that Corky was brutal. That, yeah. Corky looked absolutely horrible. He, he dead said had enough padding on there to open the batting in the ashes. <laughs> all right, Alex. Uh, the umpire's bouncing the ball. Just stop. That was weird. <laughs> yeah. Like all weekend, it's like, oh, I sprayed it. And to the point where there was a couple of ones where they're like, oh, I can't be bothered. Do yeah, you think that people bro- would be annoyed? Like who's, no. who out there is going to be like, oh, they're not bouncing the ball anymore? Exactly. Even umpires, I've talked to umpires. They, they get know, nervous. Bef- talk that's why it does feel like an umpire, doesn't he? No, I, I, that Big is umpire a, energy. I've yeah. told this to a million people. That is the, I would do anything but umpire. I think it's the... Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. 
bash. Yeah. So boring. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I would never. Stats, stats guy have that ego out. on him too. Be like, I'm making this game all about me. I, oh, no. I would never umpire. I think it's the most mundane thing. Um, um, yeah, what are you so, do hit me. <laughs> bang! <laughs> just hit the back. <laughs> but no, honestly, just stop with the bounce. Like it's you're spraying him. They're going all over the place, and then it's getting to the point where some are called, some aren't. It's just, it's just uneven. Just throw it up because yep. it's just no one's keeps th- it no one stuff to throw. No up. one cares. Yeah. Just throw it up. I know, I know. The bounce has been going on since eighteen dickety two. <laughs> Laura Kane, get rid of this. Get rid of the six 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 morning. Like if it's dry, cool. If it's even slightly wet, and you know it's going to be a bit wonky. Just go off you go. Yep. I don't care. I okay. agree. Stats boy, what can't you stand? I just changed mine. Uh, just Melbourne forwards, as we discussed, they can't kick a score. You got uh, Harrison Petty is averaging five disposals. Ben Brown's averaging three point five disposals. I just can't stand these guys that show glimpses of like really good. So Ben Brown, obviously a North I mean, gun player. We've been talking about this all Petty, year. Petty will randomly kick five, and then he won't get a touch the next week. They both had games of two disposal where they're on the whole game. I don't care if you're a big forward. You had perfect conditions in Perth, especially tonight. You could have just get your hands against, on the footy a bit more. Against Brisbane, didn't yeah. Ben Brown have like one touch halfway through the last yeah. quarter? Or even make a contest. Like there were so many intercept marks against them. I don't know. They, they feel like they're lazy at getting to the footy. The or footy. they're yeah. just not that good. They have yeah. no forward The line. demons yeah. have a lot of that vibe about them. I don't right? know. I, yeah. I don't care As if I said, you're not a great player. Cliff. You can get more than three disposals in a game. Like, come I don't on. think they're that good this year. Yeah. Super coach Wash from round yes. 10. I'll tell you what. Oh, I don't even want to look at The Brisbane team. and Gold Coast midfields. You just want to get around them. Lockie Neal. Mm. You had uh, Zorko go bang as well. They both went for 160 yeah. again. Back-to-back weeks. That's insane. Yep. Uh, the Gold Coast midfield, as we said earlier, just take your pick. Noah Anderson. Stupid sexy Stupid Flanders. sexy Flanders. He was awesome. He's had the being the most consistent Took player. Miller. You had Matty Rowell all mm. going big. Um, Chumley's obviously... Nick Newman went off. <laughs> that yeah, 1% yeah. of teams. 147 <laughs> had him on bench in draft. Someone captained him against me. <laughs> Chunley is back. Good to see Chad Warner go absolutely yeah. off his head. Luke Jackson is back. LDU yeah. is back. LDU the is back. back. Yep. Just a massive week, though. I think some of the real... We had a Cal, massive... Anyone got 117? Wow. He was... Uh, he also missed a uh, brutal shot yeah. where you're like, ooh, that would have made a big difference. Mm. Just saying. Um, but... Bont, poor week. Petrarca, poor week. A couple of weird ones like Oliver and Co. just dropping off. Tim Kelly still out there crushing it. My boy much... Brucey Revel, 73, I'll tell you. Love that. Yeah, second game or third game. The Guelphie vibe. Don't get him in super coach. Oh, also, Tom Stewart, <laughs> 75. He's just, he's off so the Tom board. So Stewart, Tom Stewart was one of the other ones. I brought in Nick Martin in the back and brought him back in. What did he end up? Uh, Nick uh, Martin, exactly 100. On the time. Uh, that's good. That's good. Hayden Young against the Saints ripped off like 120 plus. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. oh, that's annoying. Uh, but the other one was obviously like down back. You're sort of like kicking the tires on dudes and just like trying to figure it Gorn out. Gorn has somehow drug himself to 113 here. And Tom Stewart. Oh, yeah. cool. Tom Stewart just sort of stunk it up. You're like, oh. I don't feel too bad about not yeah. bringing him in this week. So, mm. anyway, uh, Oliver finishes one twenty four. Yeah. So at least that sort of price stays exactly where it was meant to. His break so. even was fifty three. Yep. So not too bad. Either way, also Sam be- Darcy's been one of the great rookie pickups this year. Yeah, yeah he's, he's been another eighty odd this so week. He's yeah. very good. Yep. Mm. He's like one of the only dudes in that dogs forward line that what? can actually run and take. It's the a mark pretty at the obvious top <laughs> three in that in that rising star. It's Harley Reid, um, the kid from St Kilda, and Sam Darcy. Yeah. Uh, Wilson is it Wilson? Darcy Wilson. Darcy Wilson That's is one, actually yeah. not that far behind Harley Reid. What did yeah. Harley Reid actually end up on? A lot. One thirty six. Unbelievable. Hey, oh, his break even was one thirty four. Not bad. So he's gone over it. Damn <laughs> so it. Broke even. I got rid of it. Right there you go though. You can check out all the Super Coach on the official Super Coach podcast. Uh, it. That'll be a fun one. Mm. I well, have a special guest in the studio tomorrow, Ooh. my five-year-old son. Hey, Dad, what are we show, doing? Yeah. I'm like, just jump on, buddy. <laughs> All right, but that's it for AFL today for this week for round 10. What a chaotic week it was. We had some absolute classic games. Had a couple of stinkers in there too, but it was, <laughs> that's the best part of a round 10. Yep. Yes. You're in the absolute greasy middle <laughs> oh, you say greasy of the again. season. Yeah. Uh, but thank you to Alex and Stats Boy. Cheers, Jim. Can't wait to start all night and get sad at about 3 o'clock Arsenal, in Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. In, second. If you're not watching this, he's in the Arsenal shirt. Yes. Last game of the season. Chelsea as well can go to fifth, so I'm we very are, excited. We are an 8% chance according to the supercomputer. Manchester, <laughs> if Manchester City win, we can't win. Who's the supercomputer? You? Or is no, it? not me. It's like that thing they do every year. We're not going to win. <laughs> nice one. All right, remember to smash a like for AFL today across all of the socials. You can see us doing lots of different stuff. Uh, like the power rankings and all that sort of gear. Yes. Got them built already, all ready them. to go. Yeah, I had to change it. <laughs> uh, but also we have, you know, the Face EIG X, Threads, TikTok, and of course YouTube for this show and of course all the other shows. Cricket yep. Today podcast, Football Today podcast, NBA Australia, hold all tickets, all the good stuff. Subscribe, star, and like all of them. Or Stats Buyer will rock around to your house with, Being his, umpire, ref, blow with his ref kit and blow a whistle. I hate face. umpires anyway. <laughs> That's pretty good. Get around them like, I don't know. 
uh, David Boone on a few tins yes. just hanging out. He's got on a, the way to London. Yeah, what was that record? 40-something tins. Get around, I'm like, as the aforementioned Matthew Richardson at Sparta last night, the Crocs and yeah. Banner. Good to see Richo. He loves a concert. Richo, Richo, look, I've seen Richo at a bunch of shows. Mm. Uh, my compadre last night uh, had to remind me that we had actually hung out with Richo at a, in like a... Uh, really? Back when I was fancy. Was he wearing VIP. a leather jacket? He loves a le- leather jacket. He doesn't love a leather jacket. Yeah. And he's like, oh, was remember... sweaty? He was like, Jim, do you remember when we were like hanging out with him backstage or like that other thing? I'm oh. like... Oh, yeah. Good show. Good night. Nice one. All right, that's it. We'll catch you later this week. We'll be back on Wednesday for more AFL today. Until then, look after yourselves and remember, footy is back. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.